Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, this topic is full brace inverter. From the exam point of view, we may expect the question like this. Draw and explain uh, the circuit diagram of full bridge inverter with R load. We need to draw the circuit diagram. We need to write the explanation as well as we need to draw the corresponding waveforms. This is the circuit diagram for full bridge inverter. Since it is a full bridge inverter, we need to make use of four MOSFETs. So earlier we have studied half bridge inverter there we used uh, two MOSFETs. This is a full bridge inverter so we are using four MOSFETs M1, M2, M3 and M4. These are the four MOSFETs. In parallel connection with each MOSFET we are connecting four diodes D1, D2, D3 and D4. This is the R load that is resistive load and across this resistance, across this resistive load we have to measure the output voltage. We will divide the operation into two parts means if we are considering the interval total time interval 0 to t if we are saying that 0 to t is the time interval for one complete cycle then we will consider the first part from 0 to t by 2. During this time period 0 to t by 2 will be switching on MOSFETs M1 and M2. Now, these four MOSFETs are, these MOSFETs are gate driven. Matla, gate pulse we apply karenge, then that particular MOSFET will be switched on. So what I am talking about during the time interval 0 to T by 2 MOSFET M1 and MOSFET M2 will be switched on. If any MOSFET is on it acts as a short circuit. Matla, here short circuit ho jayega. So at that time during 0 to t by 2 m1 and m2 will be short circuited because they are switched on whereas m3 and m4 as well as all diodes are switched off Aise yaad hai. in case of resistive load there is no role of diodes d1 d2 d3 and d4 so as if they are not connected so ek cycle mein matlab ek half cycle mein 0 to t by 2 if i am assuming that we are uh, switching on m1 and m2 to baki jo do mosfets m3 and m4 will be switched off switch off matlab they will be open circuited so M1 and M2 are switched on, so here short circuit will happen. So naturally, flow of current will be like this. Here the VS se current will come. This short circuit will be like this. So current will flow like this. Through resistance R, here plus minus polarity will be like this. Here we will measure output voltage. Measure now this is open circuited. This is also open circuited. So current will flow through this. Through this MOSFET, because this is short circuit. Hai. Likewise, there will be flow of current through the uh, output, that is through the load. And this output voltage is V0. Corresponding current through the output is I0. This is the case during time interval 0 to T by 2. Now, we have to discuss karte 0 to T by 2. Ke liye. 0 to T by 2, ke liye, you are getting the output voltage V as matlab jab ye uh, short circuit ho jaga ye MOSFET uh, closed it is it is closed then it is acting as a short circuit to ye pura voltage V as will be up, uh, available at load resistance R so from 0 to 2 by 2 at the output we are getting voltage V S same way the output current will be same uh, having same nature as that of output voltage uh, V0 but this is the current so it is V upon R rather in this case it is Vs upon R because input uh, voltage given to this circuit is Vs so it is Vs upon R because it is a current basic equation of current is voltage upon resistance so this is Vs upon R then IM1 IM2 that is current flowing through MOSFETs M1 and M2 what we discussed M1 and M2 are on during time interval 0 to T by 2 so the corresponding value of current will be V by R. Again, you may write this as Vs by R. Everywhere instead of V, we will say Vs. So it is Vs by R, same as that of value of I0. Uh, only from 0 to T by 2. But MOSFETs M3 and M4 are switched off. So due to switching off, that they are acting as an open switch. So there won't be any current for M3 and M4. Now about second part. If I will turn talk about the interval t by 2 to t matlab second part of this interval t by 2 to t in that case we will switch on mosfets m3 and m4 
तो ये पार्ट हम लोग डिलीट करेंगे बिकॉज दिस पार्ट वॉज एप्लीकेबल ओनली फॉर जीरो टू टी बाई टू दूसरे पार्ट में दूसरे पार्ट में मतलब t बाई टू टू टी विल बी स्विचिंग ऑन मॉस्पेट एम थ्री एंड एम फोर अब देखो एम थ्री एंड एम फोर इज स्विच ऑन एंड एम वन एंड एम टू विल बी स्विच ऑफ जो पहले ऑन थे जीरो टू टी बाई टू अब टी बाई टू टू टी तक ये दोनों स्विच ऑफ हो गए अब एम थ्री एंड एम फोर विल बी स्विच ऑन Since these two MOSFETs are switched on, so flow of current will be like this. Through this is now switched on, so यहाँ से current ऐसा आएगा like this. अब देखो पहले का priority, पहले का polarity ये था plus minus. Now the current is flowing like this इस direction से then it through M4 and so on because now M4 is on, so it is in opposite way, opposite direction to that of the earlier case. So in that case, the output voltage will be नेगेटिव कंपेयर टू द अर्लियर केस सो ड्यूरिंग टाइम पीरियड टी बाई टू टू टी यू आर गेटिंग माइनस वोल्टेज सो इट इज माइनस वी एस सेम वे करंट आई जीरो विल बी माइनस वी एस बाय आर ड्यूरिंग टी बाई टू टू टी सिंस ड्यूरिंग द टाइम इंटरवल टी बाई टू टू टी बोथ मॉस्पेट एम वन एंड एम टू आर ऑफ यू आर गेटिंग जीरो एट द आउटपुट वेर एज एम थ्री एंड एम फोर आर स्विच ऑन ड्यूरिंग टाइम इंटरवल टी बाई टू टू टी सो यू आर गेटिंग पॉजिटिव वोल्टेज That is Vs upon R corresponding to M3 and M4. So this is the circuit and corresponding waveforms for full bridge inverter with R load. Next part, full bridge inverter with R L load. देखो, as per circuit diagram is concerned, very small changes are there. पहले सिर्फ R load दिखाया था हम लोगों ने. Now in series with R we have connected one inductor so this is called inductive load or rl load basic concepts yaad rakhna hai whenever you are using an inductor or koi mosfet on hai in that case during certain time period inductor will store the charge whenever mosfet is switched off whatever charge is stored in the inductor that will be returned back to the source this is the basic concept or basic operation related to the a uh, storing property of inductor now we'll consider the explanation related to different intervals first consider the interval t1 to t2 matlab ye interval t1 to t2 ye jo pehla hai 0 to t1 that is the effect of earlier part that we will discuss later we are presently talking about interval t1 to t2 one more important thing this is inductive load in case of inductor sudden changes uh, does not take place so as far as the output current is concerned we have shown some um, increasing value it is not a sudden change now this is the inductive load during time interval t1 to t2 mosfet m1 and m2 are switched on whereas remaining mosfets that is m3 and m4 are switched off and all diodes are switched off like the earlier case so this is the corresponding equivalent diagram for interval t1 to t2 in that i have shown m1 is switched on that means it is acting as a closed switch m2 is also on so it is acting as a closed switch so flow of current is like this and polarity is will be plus minus and voltage v0 will be measured across this inductive load r m so during this interval t1 to t2 the output current i mean output voltage is positive that is vs so you are getting the output voltage v0 is equals to vs this output current increases like this from t1 to t2 at instant t2 both mosfets m1 and m2 are switched off so at t2 m1 and m2 are switched off now m3 and m4 are already switched off now we have switched off mosfets m1 and m2 but the current has reached up to this level at t2 as i said we are switching off the mosfets but the current will not Uh, suddenly become zero. Suddenly return to zero. Now at T two, just as I have told you, both M one and M two are switched off. So current suddenly zero नहीं होता है because this is inductive action. But during the first interval, whatever we discussed, that means from T one to T two, the current was flowing through this load R L. and that time inductor stored the energy now at t2 we have switched off both the mosfets to so, a mosfet open circuit ho jayega as shown in this diagram 
so we are talking the for the time interval t2 to t3 in that case both mosfets m1 and m2 are off that means they are acting as a open switch but inductor has stored energy this energy will be returned back to the load so this energy earlier earlier direction was like this pehle ka direction during the interval t1 to t2 now inductor has stored the energy it will be returned back to the source so the direction of current will be like this that means energy will be returned back to the source during t2 to t3 by making use of these diodes d4 and d3 so flow of current is as shown in this diagram it is opposite uh, to that of uh, convention of v0 so yahan pe after time period t2 the voltage becomes minus vs and current start reducing gradually up this point at t3 the current becomes zero because it is this is the time period at which we can say inductor has returned all the energy back to the load so during t2 to t3 you are getting the waveform like this and corresponding voltage is minus vs now let us discuss the next interval t3 to t4 what we discussed up till now at t3 the value of output current become zero because energy has returned all the stored i mean inductor has returned all the stored energy to the uh, source so at t3 the current becomes zero now at t3 the mosfets m3 and m4 are closed are switched on so they are acting as a closed switch as shown in this diagram and the direction of output current is like this it is it is uh, in opposite way as compared to the earlier case because polarity of output voltage will be like this yahan pe plus hoga yahan pe minus hoga it is opposite to that of the earlier case when m1 and m2 uh, was uh, conducting so in this case output voltage will be negative as shown in this part and the output current yahan pe dekho t3 pe zero hai the output current starts increasing in the negative direction up to t4 so this will be the case during the interval t3 and t4 we may well say like this during this again inductor starts storing the energy for the next time period that is uh, t2 onwards now the remaining interval t4 to t1 as we discussed for the uh, interval t2 to t3 uh, that at t3 the energy entire energy is transferred back to the source and value of output current become zero on the same lines now we are talking about t4 to t1 this interval t4 to next starting of interval that is t1 so from t4 to t1 this both diodes i mean m this mosfets m3 and m4 will be switched off so no mosfet was conducting and in that case through diode d1 and d2 jaise ye d2 hai ye diode d1 hai through diode d1 and d2 path will be completed and whatever energy is stored by the inductor in the earlier uh, duration that is in the earlier case that was from t2 to to t4 isme jitna energy store kiya tha inductor will return back uh, uh, to the source so that energy will be returned back and at t1 entire energy will be transferred by inductor to the source so value of current become zero to ye jo part hai ye ye t4 to t1 ka hai ye isi diagram mein bhi dikha raha hai matlab before starting the interval t1 ye part aa jayega so this is the way how the waveforms are drawn now remaining waveforms are very simple we discussed that during t1 and t2 m1 and m2 are switched on so uh, corresponding currents are shown from m1 and m2 during time period t1 and t2 next m3 and m4 was on during time period t3 and t4 so this was shown uh, during time period uh, t3 and t4 then we we just now discussed that diodes d1 and d2 are conducting so d1 and d2 are conducting during the interval uh, t4 and t1 so ye interval t4 to t1 these diodes are shown to be conducting similarly is interval t1 tak d1 and d2 are conducting then we al already discussed that d3 and d4 are conducting during the interval t2 to t3 so these two diodes were conducting during the interval t3 to t4 so this is the way how uh, the circuit operates and these are the corresponding waveforms
Now remaining part is derivation of RMS output voltage. What we discussed up till now. At the output, you are getting the voltage V0 is equal to Vs for the time period 0 to T by 2. During the next interval that is T by 2 to T, you are getting the output voltage V0 is equal to minus Vs. Now to calculate the RMS output voltage, this is the corresponding formula V0 RMS is equal to under root of 1 by T integration 0 to T V0 square dt. But the total duration 0 to t, we have divided it into two parts. One is 0 to t by 2, another is t by 2 to t. So let us simplify this equation as this square root sign remains as it is. This 1 by t, I will make a bracket like this. Two parts may integration divide karna hai. Pahila part hai 0 to t by 2. So first integration 0 to t by 2. V0 square value of V0 is Vs. So it becomes v s square dt plus second integration limits are t by 2 to t so it becomes t by 2 to t again we have v0 square but value of v0 is minus v s you are taking square so minus n becomes plus so this term becomes v, v s square dt then this bracket is closed now both the terms contains v s square can be taken outside these two terms so I will write the next equation as this V S square is taken out divided by T as it is. Now, this is V S square bar. Liya hai. Integration of dt is T. So, I will write the bracket. Mein hu. Limits are 0 to T by 2. Plus, second, this V S square pe bar. Liya hai. Integration, ke. integration of dt will be T. Limits are T by 2 to T. And this entire bracket is closed. So now this can be written as under root of V s square upon T. Up they go. This, if I will put this value, then T by 2 minus 0. So for the first bracket, I will get T by 2 plus second bracket. Put upper limit T minus lower limit T by 2. Now, this value t minus t by 2 becomes t by 2 then this t by 2 plus t by 2 becomes t so i will write the next expression as under root of v s square upon this is v s square upon t into देखो ये ये टर्म का आंसर आ गया t minus t by 2 that is t by 2 यहां पे already t by 2 है so t by 2 plus t by 2 becomes t so i will write this t over here so this tt gets cancelled under root of vs square is vs that means value of v0 rms is equals to vs so this is the derivation of rms output voltage for full bridge inverter so dear students that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video